Is you live? Is you live? Horse, horse, are you live? Is you live, horse? Horse, are you live? Ladies and gentlemen, listen, y'all already know, bitch, when me and Funky Dineva get together, bitch, we gotta do a two hour show, bitch, cause she come once a month. So we get a two hour show. Now I guarantee you that the live show when we get on this on this road and be on this bitch live, it ain't gonna be motherfucking two hours. I need to say, bitch, I ain't pay her but for nothing but for 15 minutes, bitch. That's all she doing. Now she it. pay me for an hour. Perez, what's up, Perez? Oh, that's my girl. Hey, Perez. Bitch, Perez, what's up, Perez? Hold on. First and foremost, before you dig in and devour this plate. Show them what Chef Holly did. Let she me gave us that Abu Jabi fish first. Yes, yeah, she gave us that gunage. But I was waiting till we got Holly, off the me, line. Holly, let me get that gunage. Let me get the gunage. Bitch, we eat good over here, bitch. We we eat we eat like rich white women's over here, bitch. We eat good night. Turn around so they can see the rice peel off in the middle. The jazz and rice. Get on jazz and rice. Right. Bitch, we over here eating gunage, bitch. Now over see, here. I couldn't fuck with that fish the way I wanted to. But look at baby what she made us for after we got off the stage. Mac and cheese, sweet potato souffle, smothered chicken, green beans, baby. This! Don't even, that's my plate. Girl, if it was, it ain't no more. <laughs> <laughs> Come and hold lady. Listen. Um, your legs? You can see your pussy. No, they can't see it on this right here. Oh. Holly, Holly, yes. Perez says hello. I love Perez. Hello. Listen, Perez, you gotta hit me, bitch, because I got to have I got to have you on the show at least one. Perez, I sit up and I laugh, laugh at you. Period! Do you hear me? Perez is very funny. I love you, Perez, and I'm gonna reach out. I'm gonna have my people reach out to you, find out your schedule, and one day I'm gonna have you well, one of these good weeks, I'm gonna have you come over here and do the Queen's Supreme Court with the dog, bitch, because you're so funny and I love you. Oh, you gonna, listen, are you going to sponsor that show? I, I, I will. Times, yeah. Perez, so we got to put in order, bitch. We got to get you in order, honey. We, I might need to get you October the 1st. Are you busy October 1st? What y'all don't understand is, whenever I finish performing, you be so drained. And to have some food, like, waiting on you. It feels like I just left a funeral and the people at the church, at the house, at the recess, <laughs> trying to re re restore my spirit. This is phenomenal food. Bye, Chef Holly. Thank you. Bitch, I'm eating a whole, a whole this murder. Shit's so damn good. She don't ate my whole uh, gunache fish. You want to eat my damn? <laughs> Listen, Daniel, we got all of Miami watching. My dog, my dog on there. Ricky Vasquez was in the house. Ricky Vasquez was here. Motherfucking Valentino Ma down there, bitch. Angelica Ross was in the building. Angelica from Pose was oh, here, bitch. We had a good night tonight. That was a surprise. I wasn't expecting her to come. Well, that's my girl. I didn't, I didn't know. Yes, my girl. Her. Listen, I don't. We don't. She don't book me to do. Uh, I did. The, I spoke at the, the the college, the Trans Tech Summit. This. So Perez, listen. I'm gonna have my peoples reach out to you, babe. Yeah. So and you gonna come do it, Holly? You gonna what you gonna make for Perez? Cause Perez is a big bitch like me, bitch. We well, like to eat. No, we gotta do that. Um, we talked about that peppercorn crusted ribeye with that truffle butter. Well, that sounds good. Peppercorn crusted ribeye. So maybe we'll do that that night. Yeah. You know, just find out for him what he likes. And I mean, I'm trained French classical, so I can do it. Whatever. You yes. Know. I like Perez, bitch. I, I, Perez. She got license and education and experience. <laughs> trained French classical, whatever the fuck <laughs> that means. Okay, Holly. So tell him because I'm eating know. this. Holly, you want to really do me a mukbang, right? A muk yes, we're gonna do a mukbang. Um, we just need to get together and maybe next right. week. I'll come in, we're gonna do a mukbang, whatever you want. I'll dish it up, cook it up for you. Listen, then, somebody say, my, my girl Kayla said this is the food they had at Aretha's funeral. Yes, God, bitch. <laughs> yes, God. <laughs> After sitting down for eight hours, that's what you need to replenish your soul. Right. Okay? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're about to open up the phone lines. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And in closing, let Chef Holly give them all her contact. Yeah, so come on, Holly. Come yeah, on. So you can reach me at Phenomenal Food Catering. Um, you can also uh, reach us at uh, sales.info at Phenomenal Food by Chef Holly Do you have a phone number? Bitches yes. want a phone. 770-847-0979. Or you can call me directly at 770-371-8325. We are booking 2019 weddings. We're pretty much already booked up and done for 2018. Booked and busy, bitch. And, <laughs> yeah. So if you're getting married, especially my LGBT community, if you're getting married, you want to come in now and get a tasting. 
because March is pretty much almost booked up as it is right now, and that's when wedding season starts. So they said, "Are you? Oh, this macaroni for a black business." Yeah. Ally of the community yeah. and the fool. You see, Maddie ass can't even get the last for shot because bitch right here feeding her damn face. Uh, <laughs> bitch, I be want to eat this shit. So we, you know, we're doing weddings all every weekend. I'm pretty much booked right now, but we're, we're booking tastings. We're booking people up. So please call and let's go ahead and get you guys. Y'all, the food is good. Because I only do two weddings a day. After that, I don't care how much money you got, I can't book you. She said only two a day, honey. Yeah, just it. That's, that's it. Just, just two a day. How the sun don't get two a month. This says that she only do two a day. Support black owned business, yes. y'all. Can somebody give me so another Holly, plate to put, so up, put, put up? Put up with Holly, I love um, you. I got a plate for you, Maddie. I'm coming. Give me another plate. Somebody yes. split this plate in half. Open <laughs> oh, these last girl. Don't even you ready to lay down? I'm ready to open up my legs. <laughs> and not you, bitch. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, I'm gonna paint it to the side of the side. Is he gonna pee on you, girl? No, not at all. <laughs> he ain't gonna pee on you, no, don't either. I'm not nasty like that. Bitch, that ain't nasty if you let a man pee on you. <laughs> That's how you keep the chest rolling. What you think them rich white women do? They let them men pee on them. Girl, you got seven minutes before I just, uh, retire. Okay, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's open up the phone lines. Jamel, open up the phone line. Babe, can you turn that fan off over there? All right. What's up, George Red? Four, four, three is the Queen Supreme Court after show with just kids, medicine, and special guest Funky Daniva. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's the verdict on tonight? Legend. Go ahead, call them. One minute. Hey, Jamal. It's me, Dina from Jersey. What's up, Dina from Jersey? <laughs> it's your girl, Dina. Hey, Maddie. What's up, boo? I love you, darling. Girl, I love you like I love this play. Mm. <laughs> you, you know, I'm going to make my short sweet. You know, my shit is always positive. You know, I ain't going to with no bullshit. Come on, babe. But anyway, guess what? I'm so glad you had Funky Dineva back. Uh... You, let me tell you, you set up a platform for everybody. Because before, like I told you, I didn't really know her. But she is like your number one. And I watch her all the time now. She told me to watch her. Honey, let me tell you, Nessa, you are so funny, girl. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. That You don't know how much that support means. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yes, honey. I have subscribed and everything. And you have set up a platform, uh, Maddie. I watch Jesse Wu. I look at Craig the writer Stewart. So I'm just putting that out there that you are, are a positive person and you have really, you know, you know, set up a platform for people. Thank you. Just God. And we appreciate and it. And we appreciate and you watching us. Now, you know what? I'm going to tell you what, on the ledger that I saw, on the ledger, I'm thinking about, um, I'm so glad that you read George's evidence. <laughs> <laughs> he is really a dog. Dog-ass bitch. Book, anyway. His dog-ass. Yeah, and let me tell you something, Maddie, my girlfriend. Uh, I'm not gonna call you. What's, what's her name? Van? Van? What's her name? Lalana? What's Van, 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 What's what's that? What's her name? Ooh. What you doing with that, babe? You know, Lalana Van Zandt. Oh, Van. Van. oh, oh Yana Van Zandt. Miss V. Rhonda. Rhonda Rowe. I am not agreeing with you talking about you gonna let Cardi B go free. I'm sentencing her to a year of putting some fab on a offset blitz for that big old forty he had. Didn't get that in her writing. I got to put my fucking on my plate now, bitch. What? <laughs> what happened? She got sentenced her to a year of fixing that goddamn bump on his lip. He had a bump on his lip? Who had a bump on the lip, girl? Well, he got that herpes girl, sleep yeah, too, yeah, girl. Yeah, just he got a big old sore. I don't know what he been doing, but that's what I saw. Oh, really? He got that herpes simplex <laughs> too, girl. Really you better go back and check that out. That's the only person I'm fitting to send to anything tonight. I just wanted to call and tell you I love you. Thank you, babe. Thank do. you so much. Th thank you, boo. And love you, fuck you, Love you more. Y'all have a good night. You do the same. Love you, Jamal. Thank you for not hanging up on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, baby.
Oh my Everything God! Where the bump oh, came from, Daniva? Daniva, you is painted. One one. Yeah, she did the job. Did you look good? Thank you. With just be as mad as a special guest, funky Daniva. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's pleasure? Go ahead, call him one. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Hey, Maddie. What's up, babe? Oh my god, bitch, I didn't spend all my life building money waiting on this goddamn thing to talk to you. <laughs> What's the tea? I'm just calling my huh? What's the tea? I was just calling this guy I love you. I watch this show every every Monday. I watch the the uh Let's Bitch Bitch with you and uh David. Me and David and, and I just I love it, girl. I love it. And uh, on the ledger, I did enjoy the ledger. I didn't see the part where y'all talked about Nikki and Cardi, but I just want to say for all you Cardi, for all you, for all you banging bitches, die slow, ho. Oh, Nikki. I know, listen, I, I, I know, babe. I just be trying to stay away. I like, I'm like, listen. The, the, the body game know, be on I me. I like, Cardi. I like Cardi too. I like Cardi too. I mean, I, ain't outside of mine, but I just, my girl. it's a I lot of shit going on. But I just wanted to call in and chime in and say I love you and keep doing what you're doing and uh, keep, keep the fagots the fagots out. The fagots, yes, the fagots, <laughs> bitch, yes. <laughs> but yeah, she did these lips. I yes. didn't say I was from New Orleans, but that's why I'm at. And we coming to know. We listen. Way, so. We gonna come to no, we gonna come to Nola. We gonna come to Nola. We just got to get a good spot in Nola. We gonna come to Nola, but the first place we going is yeah, Orlando. Come on out. Yeah, the bitch, don't have us in Magnolia now in old Fourth War with Juvenile in front, bitch. Shit, I'm going down there and be like, uh, <laughs> that's you over there with them big dicks now, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's oh, no, you. I just to say, oh, wait, wait, hold on. I just wanted to say Janelle has a really sexy voice. Ooh. Your, uh, your initiator. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, good night. I'll see y'all next week. Thank you, you baby. Saying, thank you. Right. Jamel, you do got that voice that make me make a bitch pull their panties down. To the side and let them slide through. Pull them panties down, pull them panties down. Alright, thanks, Carla. What's up, Carla? It's the Queen Supreme Court after show with just kids, medicine, and special guest, Funky Daniva. What's your name? Where you calling from? What's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, one minute. Who got there? Hi, Maddie. What's up, babe? I'm so excited. This was my favorite show. You know why? Why? Tell me. You announced your Pottermore tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. Yes, we are coming to Baltimore, girl. Baltimore. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Do you know where? Uh, I, w w I think we're going to put the information up tomorrow. Uh, we're going to put it out. Uh, I'm going to have, um, we're going to put it out. I'll probably have uh, me, Daniva, we'll, we'll post it. Like when we finish doing the event, right, information, we'll put it out. And we'll put out Orlando. I can't and wait. Oh, girl, we're going to have, it's my birthday too. I turned 41, girl, that night. Oh, girl. I know, we're giving you presents. Oh, girl, we're going to have a good time. You hear me? Nice. It's gonna be. We'll see if we get the okay, AARP to right. help sponsor. You see this pussy ass hoe about the AARP. <laughs> Y'all hear this hoe back here, babe? You hear this hoe back here talking about they gonna get the AARP? She gonna get the AARP to sponsor my birthday, all oh, girl on the twenty fifth. My parents didn't do a lot of shit right, but with this <laughs> DNA with these teeth. They did that. Bitch. I was so nervous because I didn't think that you were going to bring it to Baltimore. I thought you were going to bring it to DC. I was praying that you brought it to Baltimore. We coming to Baltimore. Girl, we going to Baltimore. Girl. It's Baltimore. so many. It's so many. And listen, listen. Look. I'm coming in two days early to Baltimore. Girl, it's so many dicks in Baltimore, girl. Child, I may have to bring. You know, you know who you should call to for Baltimore. You should call Lil Mo. She out there. That's my girl. That's what I'm saying. I know that's no, her. No, Baltimore. No, Lil she's not in Baltimore. No, she's in Philly. Oh, oh, I thought she lived in Baltimore. Look at you being a man. I just wanted to say Baltimore. <laughs> Daniva messy, y'all. Daniva real Craig messy. There? No, Craig done left. Ch Craig done jumped in the Uber, honey. Craig said he had to get on home, honey. His LTR was calling him, child. He had to get on home, honey. He made him a boy from Baltimore. He got him old Baltimore, nigga. That's why he gonna be there before I get there. Daniva, if you be over here eating out my... Daniva is eating my... I'm eating my plate. And Daniva eating my plate, too. So, I like her. Or is it her or him? 
Daniva, are you a her or a him, daughter? I'm gonna say that Daniva, are you a her or she wants to know, are you a her or a him? Walk over here and show are you a her, Daniva? Let me put my pants down, Are you a her? <laughs> <laughs> But listen, it like I think I think honestly So Funky Daniva is a woman. Quentin Q, who you talking okay, to well, right now? Like Funky Dineva is a her. Q, who you talking to right oh, now? Is all man. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. I may not be a lady, <laughs> but I'm all woman. Right. Dineva, take my down here. Oh. All right, next call. Tamar, read it. Scroll back. What she said? She said. She said. What did you say about her being molested? I didn't say nothing yeah. bad about that. Um, tired ass bitch being molested. I actually come. I actually supported you in that and got very serious in it. Since you around here with your ashy ass friends, say what the fuck, yo, not need big leg up. Uh, I ain't even gonna do that with her. Daniva. I'm not looking. She's the one coming at me sideways. I didn't say anything bad about her being molested. I was in support of her. So wh whoever calling her, telling her to get on the line, and she getting on here doing this dumb ass shit that she always do, they end up getting her read by me. She need to go back and look at it. I didn't say anything. While I've let, one thing about it, baby, I got a soul. I would never say anything dirty about somebody getting molested. I read Iyanla on your behalf, Tamar, and supported you, Tamar. So on this same thread, your ass need to go through there and write, Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Let me go back and watch the show. Oh, Lord Jesus. You want to come on back around? No. So late. I need to go back and see what you said. You shouldn't have said nothing. I said something. See, yeah, now I shouldn't have said nothing, girl. If anything, I read that damn Nigerian. Now, get on me about that. That's what I read. You can't even support a hoe. You can't even support these hoes. You say something positive and support of it, and they get on a damn thread. You would think somebody as popular as her and own it. Shouldn't she be in the studio somewhere making love and war or something? <laughs> Helping Tracy film and run Braxton Family Values or something. You can't even say nothing positive. I didn't say anything negative, Tamar. That's the sad part. You so quick to jump into some damn shit. I was I was supporting you as an artist and as a woman who went through that was one hundred percent positive. Didn't say anything negative. But now I'm the ashy friend. That's your friend. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All up in the thread. You can't even say nothing positive about these bitches. Did I say anything negative about her in that molestation? Was 100% positive. I gotta go. I'm gonna go watch it. Was 100% positive. Because we did. Got serious about it and said, whoa, this was wrong. No, was I'm sorry positive. this happened. It was 100% positive. positive. Yeah, it was but that's the shit she do. And she wonder why don't nobody fuck with her or like her. That's the shit she do. You can't even say nothing positive in support of the bitch. That's true. I didn't do anything wrong. I don't, I don't feel no ways tied. Even in support, you can't even support a bitch. But I'm the ashy friend. Let's take a caller. But she she the friend with high blood pressure because her <laughs> knees and her calf and her ankle the same fucking size. Bitch, go get your blood pressure together. <laughs> I'm finna go to bed, child. I'm tired. I so don't have time for Baldine. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, bye, bitch. Be a, Jesus, be a water pill. <laughs> I can't, I can't never win for losing. <laughs> I just macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight's show was sponsored. I mean, <laughs> oh my dear God, we had macaroni and cheese.
We had smothered chicken. We had rice pilaf. And we had southern style green beans. What is the grind? Okay, but let me ask you this, Daniba. Because I said this earlier before we even started talking about this. Hold on, Jamel. I said this before we even started talking about it. I said I don't want to touch none of that stuff. I said this earlier. I said I don't want to get into that because I know that y'all got a history with each other. But we really don't. We really don't have a real history. I don't know that lady. Of course, I blog. Of course, I say my little snide comments in the blog. It ain't nothing like that I lose no sleep over. I don't even know this lady. Me and her exchanged a few words on Twitter years ago. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. I love her as an artist. What That was she just did, whatever little piece of misinformation she just got, and she coming on here running her damn mouth. You can't even support a bitch and shit that they don't put out in the media. Now I'm the ashy friend, this, that, and the third. And I was nothing but positive and in support of. But that's the thing. She keep, I don't know who the fuck no got in her. Oh, that ain't even said, that ain't even said. Now she running, ain't even seen the damn show. All that what she just did was premature. But I'm cool because she going to look back at it and look stupid. And when this hit the blogs in the morning for her being premature and looking stupid, she'll regret it. Then she'll go somewhere and play victim like she do, like somebody done did. Be bitch about it. It's one o'clock in the morning. Finish my cocktail and go beat my meat and go to sleep, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave no stains in the bed, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <calling you. laughs> Y'all gonna have my hair falling out. My <laughs> own hair gonna fall all out. The wig gonna fall all out. <laughs> oh, dear God. Yeah. Bitch in the hospital half past dead. And she ran here fucking with me. She need to be down to see a side of us. She need to be down to see a side of us. Saying her, sign her name on the guest list. With a mask over her face. Praying over Vince. Okay, that's what the fuck she need to be doing. Y'all done here red. Now y'all done red. Now damn. <laughs> <laughs> or helping Tracy keep the show alive or something. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. Okay, let's take another call. <laughs> All right. I can't. Oh, I seven, never could zero, win. One five. It's the main Supreme Court after show with your skills, Madison. A special guest, Funky Daddy. But what's your name? Where you calling from? I wish you did not tonight, but just go ahead call him on that. Hey, how y'all doing? Hello. Hey, I ain't called, man. We gotta get through. I was going to ask, how is your mom doing this morning? She like doing... Said, my grandmother had raised me. And so, you know, being, you know, I guess, you know, you know, She fine. I'm, I, she's doing better. She had surgery. She's doing. She she doing good. Okay. Thank well, you, baby. Good, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Lord have mercy, Jesus. <laughs> Y'all. I swear to God, y'all, I be right there on, 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 I just be right in the, in a, I be in a lightning store. Like. No, but what you need to say in this thing right now is, Tamar, he said something positive. I didn't say nothing bad. It ain't no reason for you to feel bad. I didn't put you in the middle of nothing. I spoke positively of her in, re in relation to that situation. Despite how I might feel about her as whatever, whatever, I would never speak ill of somebody in a situation like that. I got sisters and fucking nieces. What the fuck is, would be wrong with me? What the fuck would be wrong with me as a person if I was making fun of somebody? Giving, that shit ain't fucking funny. Right. That shit ain't funny. Now, but what you need to do is look in that thing and say he was positive. You ain't in the middle of nothing. She dead ass fucking wrong. He was positive when it came to the... He was you positive. You was positive when it came to Thank the molestation you. part. Good night. Now, I read the... Now, she done got on there about the boyfriend part. I would have ate it. I called him a scam in Nigerian, and I made comedy about that. 
Yeah, you was part. You was. But bitch, I'm human. And I'm, the molestation I'm, yeah, part, I'm, you did. I'm, you I'm did, a did, human did. being before I'm a comedian. I would never sacrifice my by, goddamn soul okay, to make about fun the, of somebody about, about the molestation. The, about the molestation so part. So tell her come back on here and talk about the Nigerian part. Now she can come at me about that. Yeah, but you you did read the. Nigerian. I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, hands down, I did. That was that was comedic fodder. Tell that hoe to go to bed. Grow some hair while she doing it. <laughs> yeah, take a water pill. <laughs> Next caller. They said, come back, Danny. All right. Eight. <laughs> Kill your ass to bed, bitch. <laughs> Madison and special guest Funky Daniela. Good night. What's your name? What you call them? What's your judgment? Go ahead, one minute. Hey, buddy. Hi, baby. Hey, love. This is Mike out of Christian County, Kentucky. Hey, Mike out of Christian County, Kentucky. Hey, I just wanted to say I love, I, I love you. I've been following you for a while. Since you used to do the y'all sleep. Yes. Twenty nine. Yes. And uh, fuck fucking any job. Been loving you since uh, loving hip hop and the um. And you called out, called it red for the fucking that. That was that was funny as hell. But I, I love both of y'all. I want to um speak on fucking Daniva. I mean, I really appreciate you bringing out the fact that you know there is a problem with, I guess. When you're losing an argument, or you know, you can have a man that's the bad of against a woman. That's the first thing they bring up. It's like he's effeminate for speaking up or for coming back. And I think that that was kind of where you talking about in which in which Wanda, uh, oh you talking about in Wanda in Wanda situation. Yeah. Okay. Wanda and Cat Woods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Come on, Wanda and Cat. When Wanda came at Cat sideways. Yeah, that was that was crazy, you know. But I mean, you, that's usually the which the way in arguments that arguments kind of go when it comes to, girl, like uh, when when men and women you know get into an argument, and uh, they go for the gay card or the the trans card or the the f word card. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, cause I mean that's. I guess that was the last bitch, bitch, bitch for her. And then he kind of like called her out again. It's like, you using the same joke. Like, you already did that joke. And then, he, then you know, he kind of embraced it at the same time. He didn't really get too offended. She got in her feelings about it. But I, I just really hate that. And then, like, with the situation with Tamar and I think Tank or somebody, she did the same thing. And I think Kim Kardashian did the same thing. It's like, that can't be the first thing you go to when have an argument, I guess. Well, I mean, that's a low blow. Like, that's a low, that's a low blow for a man to say that, this, this, this to call, you know, right. to say gay and, and okay. yeah, that's a low blow. I, 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 just, I just feel like if, if, if anything, if it was a little bit more open, then I feel like the, the DL situation probably wouldn't be as bad. If people were a little bit more open to not calling, not not that being the worst thing about him, I guess saying that you know if he's bisexual, or whatever, but that shouldn't be like the first thing that you go to. I just I just really think that that was a little blow, and I I really appreciate Daniela stating that because when they had it on the show this morning, it's like nobody even brought that up. It's like a second thought to this black society, but. You know, it is what it is. Was Miss really so, was Miss Sophia not present, present this thing. morning? Th- thank you so thank much you, for acknowledging thank you, that. Carla. Was Miss Sophia not present this morning? Because normally she would come from that angle. She normally, me and her normally share the same viewpoints on things of that sort. I didn't. I, don't, I didn't see the show this morning, so yeah, I don't I know if I Sophia I was present. It. But but thank you for that. And and it is a very relevant point that the first the minute a woman gets mad with a man, the first thing she wants to do is call him gay or sissy, as if that's some sort of scarlet letter. And I just think we, as members of the LGBT community, we've got to call out and stop allowing people to use fag, gay, sissy 
as a slur to cut men because it, it, it implies that something is wrong with us and that we are less than if we allow them to continue to use that. So, what? Okay, there, James said right here, James said the laughing while talking about the molestation subject was wrong. It's a touchy subject. I mean, but that's what that we were not laughing. I didn't laugh. No one laughed. There was nothing funny about that. We laughed at other things around it. Whatever. God, let me for my intentions. I would never laugh about that. And, 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 and I'm big enough to say this to Tamar, who was watching. If in any way I offended you or it's been implied or you feel, you know, some kind of way about it, I sincerely apologize. That's not funny. That was a very vulnerable moment that you had on TV and by no means necessary am I that guy that would make fun of something like that. That is not funny. And if I offended anybody in that situation, I sincerely apologize. That was not my intention. Now, I was intent. I was intentionally making fun about the boyfriend and the Nigerians and the scamming, which at the end of the day, I don't know that man. That was comedy as well. 